So we're at Brown River, very start of the Heafy Trek. It's a four-day trek ahead here, and there's about six huts along the way. We're going to stop in, I think, at most of them, but uh, just a couple of nights on this journey for us. And we're going to go up to about 988 metres before hitting some highlands and then cruising through to the west coast. And then we're heading down the coast, and you're going to see a bunch of west coast beaches on the way back to finish off this trek. Back towards Goulburn Downs, um, there's remnant forest over limestone and um, it's like the enchanted forest, it's really amazing, almost hobbit country. We're just about to head out of this place now and head over to, uh, is it Goulburn Downs? Goulburn Downs, apparently it's the second major shift in the ecology and the, and the habitat around here. Mate, I'd borderline jump off this bridge <laughs> to get into that. Where to now? The Enchanted Forest. Are there fairies in there? So we came down here to get this beautiful shot of this enchanted forest that surrounds us. And we've just come across these stunning little caves. We don't know how far they go, but we're about to go and find out. We read about it in the brochure. They said the little limestone caves peppered around the Goulin Downs. We didn't think we'd find them, but this is pretty cool. It's a nice surprise. The cave roof is covered in wetters. <laughs> bouncing around. I feel on my jacket. <laughs> a lot of people along here see this as the, the track of solitude, you know. We've gone through a lot of other ones where there's plenty of beaches and a lot of sun and a lot of greenery. You get that here too, but it's, uh, it feels like it's a place for the soul here, definitely. So we just arrived here tonight at, uh, at the Heafy Hut and this is really where the, the bush section of uh, the Heafy Track meets the coast. Mm, meets right at this point here which is absolutely stunning. The last day is going to be a pretty cool walk out, about 18 kilometres uh, up the coast mainly. So uh, yeah, it's really all about enjoying this food right now and getting a good sleep again tonight. Eh? really does look prehistoric, doesn't it? This here is the Wekakura Swing Bridge and it's sitting across a beautiful river that leads straight out to a stunning big ocean. It's getting a bit stormy overhead so uh, looking forward to facing that challenge on the walk out. We've got about three hours to go, yeah. on the move. If you're really lucky you'll get to see some of the faces of the Heafy Track. As you can probably see, it's really, really bucketing down right now. And we've just stumbled across a classic piece of bush communication. A note written to us and placed on the path in the hope that we would see it. And it says, 90 seconds in dock crew, be sure to look for the baby birds along the path over here. So awesome, be good for the film. So here we are at Kohai Hai. This is the end of the Hefe track. And it pretty much sums up the Hefe experience. You've got everything from the river flowing through here, right out to the mouth and the ocean. 
hills behind us lined with native trees, the Nikau palms which line this coastline. This is why New Zealand is the greatest living experience on earth. It marks the end of a remarkable journey through some native forests onto the Goulin Downs and then along this amazing rugged west coast.